नमस्कार मित्रों आप ही बन सको आई अपलोडेड अ रिव्यू वीडियो ऑन द डी रोबोटिक्स आर डी के एक्स फाइव एंड इन दैट वीडियो आई सेड आई एल बी मेकिंग अ कम्प्लीट प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग दिस बोर्ड वेल टूडे इज दैट डे वी आर फाइनली बिल्डिंग एन ए आई वॉइस असिस्टेंट पावर्ड बाय द आर डी के एक्स फाइव बाय द वे द आर डी के एक्स फाइव इज अ सिंगल बोर्ड कंप्यूटर फ्रॉम डी रोबोटिक्स इट्स पावर्ड बाय एन ऑक्टा कोर कोटेक्स ए फिफ्टी फाइव सी पी यू क्लोक डेट वन पॉइंट फाइव गी का हर्ट्स एंड फीचर्स आर बायस आर्किटेक्चर बी पी यू कैपेबल ऑफ डिलीवरिंग टेन टॉप्स विच मेक्स इट परफेक्ट फॉर रनिंग रियल टाइम ए आई मॉडल्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट द आर डी के एक्स फाइव लाइक इट्स फीचर्स परफॉर्मेंस एंड सेटअप मेक श्योर टू वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन द आर डी के एक्स फाइव द लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ बैक टू अवर ए आई असिस्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर दिस बिल्ड आई डिसाइडेड टू यूज द ओपन ए आई रियल टाइम ए पी आई फॉर द असिस्टेंस इंटेलिजेंस एंड द वोस्क ऑफलाइन स्पीच रिकॉग्नेशन टूल किट फॉर वेक वर्ड डिटेक्शन वाइल थिंकिंग अबाउट द वेक वर्ड आई केम अक्रॉस दिस रियल वाइल स्क्रोलिंग एंड दैट्स वैन द आइडिया स्टक वाई नॉट टू गिव इट द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ डॉक्टर डूम so let's see how an ai assistant behaves when it inherits the mind of a fictional villain here are the components we will need for this build the rdk x5 board a usb microphone common anode rgb leds 100 ohm resistors jumper wires and few screws now let's fire a fusion 360 and start the cat designing since it's the doctor doom ai assistant i designed the enclosure to resemble doctor doom's mask itself After spending a few days on CAD, the enclosure design was ready. So I moved on to 3D printing. The prints came out quite well even though the mask was not ready for paint right away a bit of sanding helped smooth the surface For paint I went with the matte silver finish and it turned out awesome All right the mask is ready now let's start assembling everything Before we move ahead let me take a moment to thank LTM for sponsoring today's video. LTM Develop is their brand new cloud platform designed to bring every part of your electronics project together. Electrical, mechanical, software, sourcing and even manufacturing all in one connected environment. It combines the power of LTM Designer and LTM 365 into a single space where teams can truly co-create with shared data, real-time context and complete visibility from concept to production. Whether you are a solo engineer or part of a growing team, LTM Develop helps you move faster, stay aligned and design without limits. So, if you are ready to experience the next generation of collaborative electronics design, click the link in the description and get started with LTM Develop today. Now, let's get back to the build. With the enclosure assembled, let's move to setup and programming. 
For setup, you will need an HDMI display, keyboard and mouse, an HDMI cable, a 5V 5A adapter, a card reader, and a micro SD card. Initially, I planned to use this small speaker for playback, but the sound output was too low. So instead, I used this Bluetooth speaker that I built in one of my earlier videos. I have already flashed Ubuntu 22.04 on the SD card. If you want to know how to set up the RDK X5 or install the OS, you will find that process in my previous RDK X5 video. Link is in the description. Now once your RDK X5 is ready and the OS is installed, the first step is to connect it to the same Wi-Fi network that your Windows machine is connected to. We need both devices on the same network for SSH. Then turn on your Bluetooth speaker and connect it with your RDK X5. Once connected, click on the sound icon and set your Bluetooth speaker as the default playback device and your USB mic as the default microphone. Next, we will SSH into the RDK X5 from our Windows machine. Open Windows PowerShell and type SSH Sunrise at the rate your RDK X5 IP address. To find the IP address, log into your Wi Fi router and check the IP address assigned to the RDK X5. Now press enter, it will ask for a password. The default password is Sunrise. Alright, we are in. Now this is the python script I wrote for the Dr. Doom AI assistant. To run it, we will need to install a few libraries. So let me quickly install all the libraries. For your convenience, I have already prepared a detailed PDF guide that explains everything from installing libraries to running the script. You will find the link in the description. Once all libraries are installed, create the script using nano your script name.py. Then paste the code inside. Since we are using the OpenAI API, we will need an API key. To get one, visit platform.openai.com, login or create an account, go to your profile, projects, then create a new project. Then go to API keys, click create new secret key, select the project you just made, then click on create secret key. Now copy the key and save it somewhere safe. Also make sure to add the billing details as the real time API is a paid service. Now paste the key into the script here. Once done, press Ctrl O then enter to save and ctrl plus x to exit all right it's time to run the script and here it is the script is running our dr doom ai assistant is now live initially it stays in sleep mode but when you say dr doom it wakes up ready to conquer the world if you don't talk for 20 seconds its ego gets hurt and it goes back to sleep mode again now let's test how it performs hello doctor who are you i am doom the one and only. There is no other who can claim the mantle Doctor, of Dr. Doom. Can you defeat Iron Man? Of course. Doom's intellect and power surpass that of Iron Man. His suit is impressive, but it cannot match the mystic and scientific prowess that Doom wields. Iron Man would fall before the might of Dr. Doom. Doctor, explain quantum computing in simple words. Quantum computing is a form of computing that uses the principles of quantum mechanics to process information. Unlike traditional computers that use... The Dr. Doom AI assistant works surprisingly well. Sometimes it reacts to its own voice, but if that happens often, you can mute the mic while it's speaking. You will find both versions of the script with and without auto mute linked in the description. Overall, I am really happy with the performance. Thanks to the RDK X5, everything runs smoothly. From the offline wakeboard detection to the AI conversation. It's even powerful enough to handle large language models. So if you are looking for a capable board for your AI projects, the RDK X5 is a great choice. You can find the best buy link in the description. Hope you liked today's video. Please consider subscribing for more such interesting builds. That's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one.